This week, I've interviewed six university students from around the world to hear their perspectives on how the U.S. election is viewed abroad. Here's what they said about the two candidates and how their countries might be affected depending on the outcome of this year's election. So um, right now, definitely, it's a lot of tension, especially between China and America. Honestly, we didn't know how Joe Biden is going to um, change the game. I'm not sure if he's going to be a better candidate or not. Just based on uh, their comments, I, I think neither of them are uh, friendly enough to kind of uh, bridge the gap or uh, soothe the conflict between these two countries. A lot of my international student friends, especially Chinese friends, are also talking about this election is truly to select which one is less worse. My mentality is really focused also because of the European Union and everything around free trading, let's say. So for sure, I didn't like all the turbulence that has that there has been during the presidency of uh, Donald Trump, not only with China, but also with Europe on their biggest dispute, let's say, with Airbus and Boeing, first thing. Uh, secondly, of course, I mean, the pandemic, the handling of it, it wasn't the best. He withdrew also from the World Health Organization, which was kind of also disturbing because they contributed a lot of money to it. I'm sure, okay, everybody has the reasons for doing something, but I'm, he could have chosen a better timing to do it if he wished to have done it. Biren, on the other hand, I mean, at least he has a politician's personality because I followed the first debate. Uh, let's just say the reaction from the whole Europe, and I speak from the whole Europe, was just laughter. We literally would put highlights of it on YouTube and have a laugh at it. I don't support Trump because of like basic humanitarian reasons. I think also he reflects in other countries and specifically in Brazil. Right now we have a far right president and I think that he gained a lot of popularity by saying that he was close to Trump or that they have similar values and our president is really bad for our country. So I think if let's say Trump got to be re-elected in the U.S., then he might also be re-elected here. Yeah, people in Canada are just having like a good laugh about it. Like my friends from Canada and I, I don't know, we kind of just gave up talking about American politics. Do you think that's because of how Trump has done during his presidency? Kind of, yeah. With all the false promises and everything, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. A lot of things are on are on the line right now. It doesn't really relate to me that much because like, yes, I do study here. Yes, I do live here for like nine months a year, but I don't have any power to change it. I can't cast my vote over here. But I do understand that this election means a lot of people, especially like a lot of minority groups in, in the U.S. And I, and I think that could be like a really stressful and like anxiety inducing time for them. And when he was elected, I was in high school and everybody was surprised. In such a country, he would, uh, he would make it. I need to say that it's very followed, more than you would think of. We talk about it during like in election period a lot. And <laughs> I mean, talking with people of my age, some of them know how election works in the United States, but they don't know how it works in Italy. So this is how, um, how much we talk about it. Biden is not people's favorite like idea of politician. He's still a moderate side. I'd say he's a stable with Trump being elected again. You, you don't know what, what to expect from him. Like he's capable of anything. So you are you feel safer. Like I'd feel safer if Biden was elected, even from Italy, from Europe. And so if you have a government that just keeps like getting richer, and more powerful, and you have this guy, um, Trump, I mean, um, like taking power away from them. That's actually like good. In that sense, a lot of Venezuelans support Trump. I don't speak from personal <laughs> opinion, but a lot of them do. But as an international student who's been here and that my visa can easily get revoked at any point, that's when I get concerned. So yeah, um, Basically, uh, regarding the election, I just hope people vote and vote smart and like actually like consider what they're doing. Because